Panthers. Watch the game. Celine Dion's amazing stage presence and powerful voice rightfully earn her a place among the greatest female singers alive. Throughout her career, this legendary French-Canadian pop diva ruled the pop charts and captured hearts with her timeless hits like the Academy Award winning My Heart Will Go On from the 1997 movie Titanic. As of January 2023, Celine was boasting an incredible fortune of $800 million. She even claimed the title of highest earning artist in the early 2000s, with album sales and concert revenue hitting an astounding $747 million by 2009. But here's the deal, most of her wealth isn't just from album sales. According to Forbes magazine, her Las Vegas residencies are where the real money's at. Well, who doesn't adore her epic live shows in Sin City? It's no surprise that Celine remains one of the wealthiest and most iconic women in music. Today, Celine is still making money from her music, but unfortunately, she announced in a heartbreaking video that she was diagnosed with a rare condition called Stiff Person Syndrome in December 2022. It means that she had to take a break from live performances to focus on her health leading to the cancellation of her Courage World Tour, planned for Europe from August 2023 to April 2024. However, she's not giving up and is working hard to recover through numerous physical therapy sessions, and her fans worldwide are rooting for her, hoping for a comeback soon. And I really hope I can see you again real soon. In addition to her health condition, Celine has also weathered difficult times, like the loss of her beloved husband and manager, Renee Angelil. Yet she perseveres, and her heartwarming music continues to inspire her fans. Today, let's explore Celine Dion's glamorous journey to success, discover the stunning venue where she dazzled audiences during her Vegas residencies, and take a peek at some of her luxurious properties. So, let's get right into it. Everybody knows that Celine Dion is an amazing singer and has earned a great deal of money from her music. In fact, she has raked in between $40 and $50 million from her different ventures. But most of that is thanks to her super successful Las Vegas residency. Celine has cemented her reputation as a top-notch live performer with her fantastic shows, revitalizing the modern-day Las Vegas residency scene. Her live shows still hold the records for the number one and number two highest grossing and best-selling Las Vegas residencies of all time. Since 2003, Dion has been performing in Vegas around 70 times a year, earning roughly $400 million. She's managed to sell approximately 3 million tickets to roughly 717 shows. And get this, Celine reportedly earned about $500,000 per show. That's right, she's cashed in half a million dollars for each show. With three to five shows per week, she was making an average of $2 million per month. Also, according to Billboard, Celine's Las Vegas residency was the highest grossing of all time, earning a whopping $385 million from just over 700 performances. Celine was absolutely on top of her game with her Vegas residencies. She set the standard with a new day, in 2007 and kept the party going with her second residency, simply titled Celine Dion, from 2011 to 2019. All in all, she performed over 1,100 shows for more than 4 million fans and made over $700 million in ticket sales. After wowing millions of fans in Las Vegas, Nevada for 16 years, Celine is definitely the queen of Vegas. Celine Dion's first Las Vegas residency was called A New Day, and it ran for almost five years at Caesars Palace. The show was in support of her album, A New Day Has Come, and premiered in March 2003, running until December 2007. The Coliseum Theater in Caesars Palace Hotel and Casino is a $95 million spectacular venue that was built specifically for the legendary Celine Dion. Her first residency was directed by the late Franco Dragone, who is also known for his masterpiece, Cirque du Soleil. The building was constructed directly on Las Vegas Boulevard. It's loosely inspired by Roman aesthetics with a modern twist. 
It's an amazing place for Celine's spectacular performances and is considered Caesars Palace's foremost superstar headlining venue. The building is attached to the existing casino and is 120 feet high and 256 feet in diameter. The Coliseum can seat an impressive 4,300 people and has an orchestra level of over 2,300 seats, an additional 745 seats on the first balcony, and 1,074 seats on the second balcony. No seat is more than 145 feet from the stage, making it an exceptional place to experience a performance. The exquisite theater is equipped with one of the largest indoor high-definition LED screens in North America. It also showcases a massive stage, measuring 22,450 square feet, and has one of the largest proscenium arches in the world, measuring 120 feet wide by 44 feet high. The building also has a special air conditioning system at the front of the stage to help with the humidity and ventilation, making it the best place for Celine's powerhouse singing. The Coliseum has been one of the most popular entertainment venues in Las Vegas for over a decade. They've hosted some of the biggest names in music from Celine Dion to Elton John to Mariah Carey. It has even won numerous awards, including Venue of the Decade by Billboard Magazine and Top Small Venue by the Billboard Touring Awards. It's definitely a must-visit spot if you're looking for a great night out in Vegas. Celine's shows back then were the talk of the town and people from all over the world came to watch her in Vegas. Her contract was so amazing that it included a stake in profits and was extended by two years due to its incredible success. Celine paid tribute to her late husband and manager, Renee Angelil, during her final show last June 8, 2019 at the Coliseum. It was a really emotional moment she shared on stage with their three children. Even though she's been living in Las Vegas for a long time, Celine is also a citizen of the world. She's been rocking world tours and has owned several properties in Canada, the United States, and even in France. Celine Dion's net worth is estimated to be around $800 million as of April 2023. And she's not just making bank from her albums and sold out shows in Vegas, but also from her impressive real estate portfolio. The legendary pop icon is currently selling off some of her luxurious properties and making millions in the process. Apparently, Celine has listed her former Paris mansion for sale for a whopping 14.9 million euros. Back in 2016, she decided to leave behind this house when her husband passed away. At the time, it was estimated to be worth 9 million euros, but now it's almost double that figure. The luxurious mansion located in the 16th arrondissement of Paris in the Villa Montmorency area has a surface area of 632 square meters. It's also had quite a few famous residents in the past, including Victor Hugo, Léon Blum, and Marc Chagall. Celine's colorful Paris mansion is a total dream house. It has not one, not two, but five floors and 15 rooms, all decorated with an art deco style. Inside, there's a double living room with a cozy fireplace that opens onto a terrace, a huge six meter library, a fully stocked kitchen, and a dining room with a glass roof. The three upper floors have bathrooms, bedrooms, dressing rooms, and offices, while the basement is like a dream come true. It has a laundry room, spa, swimming pool, gym, and even a wine cellar. And if that's not enough, there's also a garage that can accommodate two vehicles. Oh, and don't forget about the large garden and the wooden slat rooftop with a stunning view of the Eiffel Tower. The house is fully furnished and has a lot of happy vibes. Also, in May 2023, Celine sold her four-bedroom, 12-bathroom home in an ultra-exclusive Summerlean Las Vegas community for a crazy $30 million. Apparently, the power ballad queen paid $9.2 million for the mansion in 2017, so she's earned triple on this deal. But hey, it's not like she didn't put in the work. Her team spent years renovating the place, from adding an extra level to renovating bedrooms and putting up some extensive fencing. The mansion is located at the Summit Club, found between the Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area and the Las Vegas Strip. This place offers extravagant amenities like a championship golf course and unique terrain to table culinary offerings. It's definitely a five-star experience. 
Besides that, Celine also sold her late mother's 5,000 square foot waterfront mansion in Laval for 2.4 million Canadian dollars in April 2023. The mansion had 16 rooms and was situated about 19 miles northeast of Montreal, with 87 feet of frontage on the Mille-Iles River. The house was built in 2002 and had a beautiful stone facade with a large attached garage, also clad in stone. The two-level home included a solarium with stunning views, gas fireplaces, a sewing room, a workshop, and two offices. The Glaston Solarium offered a breathtaking view of the river. Other than that, back in 2017, Celine sold her beautiful Jupiter Island estate in Florida for a whopping $38.5 million. The house was inspired by the Bahamas and even had its own water park and river. It was absolutely breathtaking. Celine gave up the resort-like home in 2003 when she decided to move to Las Vegas and start her successful residency. The property had steps from the back porch that led directly into a pool larger than most people's backyards, and there was even a fire pit that jutted right out into the pool. Beyond the pool was a winding, lazy river that encircled a children's play area. That's where Celine's three children used to hang out. The estate had five individual pavilions stationed around the pools and two guest houses. In total, there were 13 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms. Inside the house, Celine's family had a whole arcade set up. They had table hockey, billiards, tons of race car arcade games, skee ball, and even pinball machines. But wait, there's more. There was a third pool at the front of the house with loungers and scenic ocean views. On the upper level, there are two charming bedrooms designed for children, each accompanied by its own private bathroom. Additionally, there's a dedicated space for kids, along with a breathtaking master bedroom. The master suite boasts a sweeping terrace that offers stunning views of the ocean, along with two distinct decks, one featuring an outdoor fireplace and the other equipped with a luxurious hot tub. Truly fit for a diva, Celine's home flaunts a stunning dressing area adorned with plenty of built-in elements, an exquisite private bathroom, and the ultimate fantasy for every girl. A vast walk-in closet complete with automated racks for clothes and shoes. Plus, there was a theater room, gym, tennis courts, and a chef's kitchen with top-of-the-line appliances. The estate, which was completed in 2010, had 10,000 square feet of space in the main residence and 400 feet of Atlantic oceanfront. Back in 2016, Celine also sold her own castle-like residence on a private island in Laval, Quebec for a whopping 25.5 million Canadian dollars. It used to be the most expensive home for sale in Quebec province, spanning over 830,000 square feet. It resembles a contemporary castle, featuring a grand entry foyer with exquisite classical interiors that boast unparalleled finishing and detailing. The living room exudes a formal, royal vibe. It showcases exquisite, solid wood herringbone floors adorned with intricate, figurative inlays. Meanwhile, the artisan kitchen, customized by the high-end firm Le Cornu Chateau, comes equipped with all the modern conveniences. The dining room is massive and perfect for hosting guests, with a capacity to comfortably seat 18 people. Throughout the mansion, there are several sunrooms that are equipped with numerous windows to allow natural light to flood in. The design of the house takes inspiration from a French Normand chateau, which is evident in the furnishings and design details that are present throughout the property. The level of detail in this space is exceptional, from the beautiful wooden floors to the intricate carvings on the fireplace mantel to the winding staircase. The traditional design takes a break in the media room family room area, which features a more contemporary look and feel. A large, comfortable couch is strategically placed in front of the TV for optimal viewing. On the lower level of the house, there is a spacious bathroom with a magnificent soaker tub as the main attraction. Also on this level, there is a games room that connects to a vaulted stone wine cellar and a tasting room. This setup provides the perfect opportunity to enjoy some wine before engaging in a fun game. The residence's backyard is extensive and offers complete privacy, 
accessible only through a gated bridge that is guarded by security personnel. The pool house even has its own kitchen and built-in grill, which makes outdoor entertainment a pleasure. Today, Celine is currently residing in a 1.5-acre home located in Henderson, Nevada. She purchased it with her husband back in 2003 for $1.2 million. The house is massive and sits on an acre of land covering over 8,100 square feet. Celine has done a lot of renovations and today her mansion has four bedrooms, six bathrooms, and three fireplaces. During the pandemic, Celine would often film videos from her kitchen and urge her followers to stay at home. In those videos, you can catch a glimpse of her chic kitchen featuring large shelving. White, gloss-fronted cabinets and stainless steel fittings seem to be the theme of the house. Another room is decorated with white leather chairs, a high-shine white table, drapes, and a collection of candles to give it a cozy feeling. The singer's home also has a detached guest house with a bedroom and a bathroom covering 2,000 square feet. The house has a basketball court and an impressive pool, making it worth an estimated $4.5 million today. I've heard that the mansion used to serve as her home for the Vegas residency shows, and it seems like an ideal space for Celine and her three kids to live in comfort. Celine Dion has extended her ventures into various businesses. In addition to her singing career, she's collaborated with numerous brands and companies, notably Cotty Inc. for her fragrance line, Celine Dion Parfums. This line has been a tremendous success amassing over $850 million in retail sales since its introduction. Moreover, Celine also became the global spokesperson for L'Oreal, a world-famous beauty brand in the same year. And that's not all. Celine also has her line of bags and accessories called the Celine Dion Collection, which has been a massive success. Sales have already surpassed $10 million after just three collections. She also runs an artist management firm called Les Productions Feeling Inc., based in Laval, Quebec, Canada. And that's not all. She was also one of the founders of Nichols, a popular smoked meat chain in Quebec. Celine and her late husband were previous owners of Le Mirage Golf Club, later selling it to the Messier, Savard, and Associé Group. The club boasts two exceptional 18-hole courses and renowned event facilities recognized as among Quebec's finest. Today, Celine remains involved as a partner in the club. Back in 2012, Celine and her husband also invested in Schwartz's Deli, an iconic Jewish smoked meat restaurant in Montreal. She even founded a nightclub located on the Las Vegas Strip called Pure, in collaboration with Andre Agassi, Steffi Graf, and Shaquille O'Neal. In 2018, she partnered with the children's boutique brand Nunu Nu to create Sealy Nunu, a gender-neutral clothing line for kids. The collection featured more than 70 unisex designs and styles for kids aged 0 to 14 years. Besides her impressive real estate holdings and business ventures, Celine owns other luxurious assets. Among them is a Bombardier BD700 Global Express XRS private jet valued at $42 million. This exceptional aircraft, powered by BMW Rolls-Royce BR7 and 10 turbofans, boasts a maximum speed of 590 mph and an impressive range of up to 7,279 miles. This jet perfectly complements her lavish lifestyle, allowing her to travel in unparalleled luxury and style. Additionally, she boasts a sweet collection of high-end vehicles, a testament to her appreciation for luxury. Among these cars is the exquisite Rolls-Royce Ghost, valued at an impressive $335,000, the Mercedes Maybach 62, priced at $300,000, and the Mercedes S-Class, valued at $145,500. The Rolls-Royce Ghost stands out as her most extravagant car, featuring opulent interiors and a robust V12 engine, defining the pinnacle of luxury. Celine Dion is undeniably one of the most glamorous pop icons in history. Her staggering net worth of $800 million is proof of her incredible talent, hard work, and business savvy. Moreover, Celine has sold more than 250 million albums worldwide. And that's not all. She's won five Grammy Awards, two Academy Awards, seven American Music Awards, 20 Juno Awards, 
and a whopping 40 Felix Awards. Billboard even called her the queen of adult contemporary because she has the number one adult contemporary songs among female artists. And if that wasn't enough, she was also given the Diamond Award at the 2004 World Music Awards for being the top-selling female artist ever. She has achieved legendary celebrity status and her music continues to captivate audiences worldwide. As Celine deals with her health challenges, let's send her our best wishes for a speedy recovery and hope she'll get to perform real soon. The world is lucky to have had such a beautiful and talented performer. But before you go, let's end this video on a fun note. What's your all-time favorite Celine Dion song? Let me know in the comments below. This is Kara the Vampire Slayer signing off. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna chat. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. See you next time.